<laughs> uh, this is literally life on a tour if it was a room. <laughs> Chaos, but fine with it. Another day in the office, eh? Hey? Another day in the office. Are you sore? Tired? Uh, a little bit sore, but nah, I'm good. Yeah. Like massage, physio, ice bath. Yeah. Probably should fix my posture though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you need a rest. You gotta get a palmy. You gonna schooner. get a palmy and a schooner? Nah, not a schooner. Oh, maybe. Tomorrow, very exciting stuff. You hitting with Djokovic? Yeah, I know. Yeah, some hitting partner, Djokovic or something. I mean, I've never heard of him before. Okay. Yeah, hopefully he's good enough to hit with. <laughs> Sam Oster, uh, Liam, my brother, and uh, our mates, Puppy, Sev, and Sax all flew down. They all rolled into the one-way ticket. They are all so keen to get behind him. <laughs> <laughs> Woodbridge, what do you make of him now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm out here. <laughs> <laughs> and you're picking up a gothic tub of nuts. No, no, you know what the best thing was yesterday is we're sitting with Emma waiting to get a car. And she's like, oh, so like, what's your guy's type? Pup just looks at her and just goes, oh, like a witch. <laughs> so the, the day he was playing the main draw match against Serendulo, it was like the first real uh, that feeling of the Aussie Open started, that glistened in the air. It was the, the crowds were packed. It was the first time the main draw was starting on a Sunday as well, so it was really crowded and it was the weather was it was nice weather, blue skies. And so all my mates and my family, um, a lot of my family flew down, or well, some of them. Um, Uncle Jason, Uncle Jason. Uncle Jason. From Sydney, my auntie Sonia from, from Sunshine Coast. Katanya. Uh, my mum flew down from Sunshine Coast. Amanda and Blake flew down from Sydney as well. They all came and supported me. And uh, just the, just having like everyone in my box, the friends and family, it was, that was definitely the highlight of my Aussie Open, for sure. He'd just been training with Clay and he came home and he started sobbing and he's going, oh, oh, I don't want to train with Dad anymore. <laughs> And I said, I said, what happened? And he said, Dad swore at me. <laughs> and I said, oh, I said, really? What did he say? He told me to just hit the fucking wall. <laughs> I said, that's terrible, Dane. I'm so sorry. I said, I will speak to oh, Dad. I, I know. I remember I wrote a letter. <laughs> I was, I was too scared to tell him to his face. So I wrote a letter put under his door. Give me three back hands in the net, I was fucking pissed. That was just ball feeding. Tomorrow, when he asks you to say something, you know what to say. Just hit the fucking ball. Just hit the fucking ball. <laughs> In 10 years apart, the boys, Dane would be standing at the door crying. watching the boys play and play hit and he, he'd be crying, he was in nappies and he'd be at the door wanting, but they had the, they had the ball machine out. So if you, if you hit Dane, it's like they yeah, get pretty hard. Yeah, you can't have him out here and he'd be, Too so I'd just let him go and he'd be on the net like this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Clay would, and, and Dane had the old totem tennis racket, and we, and I said, How old like, is he, Mum? He was about two. two I've got, it was wow. about 18 months, actually. Because yeah. oh. he was still in nappies, and he was toilet trained. Oh, exactly. <laughs> I was going to say, Michelle. Show us your rig. Uh, this is um Sammy Rig Channel, episode two. Oh, Come Show on, us it. Well, we need more likes. Yeah, we need, we need, more, likes. need more likes. We need more likes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, you see mine? We need more likes. <laughs> if I could give you top tips of being your hitting partner this week, just keep hitting. Oh, sorry, sweetheart. Yes, that's what I was getting. 
Oh, that's in my back pocket. Pretend I make the bed and shit. <laughs> when chicks watch and I think of all the nasty. Come on! Really? <laughs> 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 Are they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's smiling dead. John Kane's already so slow. Johnny Kane. Johnny Kane. G'day. Good, how you doing? <laughs> Need to actually chainsaw. I decided to get bread as tough as this guy. Need a chainsaw to cut through it. Need a bloody drawer of steel as well. <laughs> Need a little pocket saw. That's the Yamaha spawner. That's it, mate. <laughs> Wear it down. Uh, uh. Bread's just cramped. You got you, mate. You got you. Way to John Kane, ready for warm up. We've got this pre warm up coffee. John Kane, first sit on John. I played dubs there. Played dubs Actually. there against Ram Salisbury, yep. Yeah. So oh, one well. point on serve, one out of 36 points on serve, and John first serve me 2 1. Gonna be a different story today, yeah. yeah. That's for sure. Cool day, 25, 24 degrees, I reckon, slow conditions. Bit of shape on the ball. Settle in. Be nice and dead. Hopefully get to some rallies early and build myself in. I lost a couple of all friends and family here. Can't wait. First look at it. Fancy seeing this fella out here. Did you see the or something? The boys. How'd he cover? Warmed up, me and Cal warmed up, kept the superstition going. We warmed up with Callum again on John Kane. Uh, pretty cool, there's already a few people out there watching the warm up. Uh, big stadium, obviously. And then uh, I do had a, had a shower again, I ate a little bit of food actually because I was second on and, just, and waited and warmed up before my match. Got called out to court again, same, same as every other match. Plug. Some tea. <laughs> Lovely good tea. Should be L O T T on there. Rock and all black, I think, to start. That. Nice, Gary. Is that Lulu, those shorts? Yeah, they're sick, yeah. I don't know. They're sick. Got my lucky undies. Oh, they, oh, this to match, I was more. feeling. Tristan. Definitely feeling a lot more excited than nervous. Um, the only thing I was. The thing I was mainly nervous for was, was just putting a. I wanted to put on a good show for the crowd, that was the thing I was most worried about, but besides that, it was, just, like, it was unreal just to be able to have this opportunity to play a five-setter against someone, you know, 20 something in the world. Um, and thankfully, yeah, I, I relished it, I didn't shy away from it, like I was kind of worried I, I maybe would. Um, Yeah. <laughs> the following 
players, please go to the match call area for your escort to John Kane Arena. Men's singles. Dave Sweeney, Francisco Serendolo. Hello. Who are we going for today, guys? Team Sweeney all the way, baby. Let's go, Dano. Let's go, Dano. Great match. Um, I'd say the first set was a bit scrappy from both of us, and him more so, definitely. Uh, that, having that first set really comforted me a bit. I was able to play, play a bit more free. Um, although I was, I was playing with a, bit, a fair bit of. Um, I was a bit scared, uh, especially with my backhand side, for a lot of that match. And then the third set, I started to settle in and played a great full set. And then he was able to just get, yeah, jump me at the start of the third, uh, start of the fifth. I had chances, I think, to break, or you know, a small chance to break, and, and a long game. Uh, oh, yeah. Five, 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 five. And then he played it, yeah, he kind of lifted his level. Um, credit to him, he, yeah, he really lifted his level in the fifth and played some, played some great games. But overall, could have played better, but I think um, I can't, can't complain with how I uh, controlled myself with that crowd. I think that was basically the case on that match, knowing that. Um, I feel comfortable being on the big stage. Like everything felt normal, like I was, it was still me, but then you, it's a really powerful experience having the crowd behind you. Just the, just the immensity and the volume and they're all supporting you and that feeling literally translates to, like I felt the energy, like you get energy from it. There's times in the third set where I was kind of cramping and I was feeling pretty gassed towards the end of the match, but they really, really kept me going and... Uh, I found a big second wind, um, and that was a f I definitely would have fought no matter what crowd was watching. But that was yeah, literally just felt the energy from from them straight to me. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. We go, Dano. Nice set. Go. Let's go, Dano. 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 Let's go, Dano.
Uh, yeah, I expected them to support me, but for them getting up and fist pumping every like full standing ovation, every point with fists in the air, yeah, it was unbelievable. It gave me so much energy. Um, Man, for us, it felt so natural. Yeah. Everyone, it was just everybody wanted to. It was just erupting. Yeah. Everyone was riding it together yeah. as well. We had, we were. Uh, it, it was the greatest player box I've ever been a part of. Not that I've been a part of many. Good. Here we go, Dino! Go. Ritual. Hey. Come on! Come on, Dino! Oh. Oh. That was not out! How are you feeling, crew? Your mate's fall all over the place. Come on, mate. Come on. He's a 6 3 up, came out the blocks, managing the occasion really well. Wasn't the greatest level, managed the occasion well, came out the blocks pretty hot, made a lot of balls. Uh, Serendulo didn't really bring his level at the start. Second set, Serendulo slowly rose, and um, Dano maybe playing a little bit passive, did a little bit too far through the middle, getting dictated by the forehand at times, struggling, struggling to find his backhand cross consistent and get enough width on it. And now I reckon that third set is. Uh, come out, switched on, looked like he's kind of using his skill sets on show a little bit more. He looks like a little bit more proactive. Got an early break there. Um, he's looking really dialed in and looked like they're re really settled into the scenario, to the situation. Looked like the nerves have shrugged off him. Um, unfortunately, just got broken back, back to 2-1. Uh, but we're in, the, we're in the thick of it right now. It's a battle, and I reckon both guys are getting comfy and settled in right now. Um, they know he's seems dialed in but composed as well just need uh, i reckon just stay pro proactive Let's go, keep playing on his terms here we go and again mate all you mate There was an element of sitting there watching Dane with Pup, Tyler Inglis, his actual name, uh, Ryan Seville. Us three were all best friends and we all had the dream of playing Australian Open and being a professional tennis player and all that. And uh, Although I'm doing it in some capacity, there was an element of watching on uh, Dane's match with us three that we just felt so proud and he was just he was this ball he was this potential and he was this example of what in a in a comedic sense of what we could have all been if we had the discipline and had the drive and had the early commitment as he has had to tennis so it was just uh emotional and beautiful to sit there and cheer on this guy that we just loved and loved like a brother and uh we're just so proud of how he's been able to forge his way in his life to get to the point where he's playing main draw of a grand slam at 22. Right. Oh. It's probably not YouTubeable. How hard they are. Yeah. Navich. Yeah. Navich. Yeah. Apparently tennis isn't a fucking combat sport. But. Uh, it taught me a few things. It taught me that my I'm getting better at tennis. It taught me that my backhand is when it goes middle and passive, it goes through the middle. I already kind of knew this, but definitely it exposed this more. Um, uh, my backhand goes too much through the middle, so I need to work on keep getting my backhand cross when I want to go cross and keep working on my backhand line, just getting it out of that middle corridor. 
Um, so I'm going to be working on that this week and probably a bigger focus on um, returning, trying to return up and keep getting better at that and my transition game. Um, drills where I'm kind of coming forward, uh, using my volleys, get my drop volleys better um, and just, yeah, drills where I'm approaching the net, sneaking and stealing time away because uh, that's, I think, where I can make make damage against guys. And, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm feeling... I'm feeling like a lot of motivation and and the hunger has kind of increased since since doing well. Um, so yeah, I'm really keen to get back on the court and kind of hone in my skills and, and make the improvements that I, I need to make. So I'm really excited. Even though I knew it was like like more likely than not for me to not get into doubles or mixed, I uh, I it still um, f- felt like that tiny bit of a deflation. Uh, just uh it was so still so epic to just get around it but a tiny bit of deflation but also just increased motivation to to want to to want to be back there and want to be actually playing the event um not just for the money or anything but just uh yeah for me just to play that f- uh, favorite tournament of uh favorite tournament of mine even though it is doubles so funny with doubles people doubles players in a sense how um it's like essentially, and some people will deny it, but it's essentially people that weren't good enough or obviously some of them have transferred and have been top singles players, but essentially they're people that weren't good enough to make it in singles are just playing dubs. It's pretty funny. And you hear the odd one go, oh, no, I actually like doubles better than singles. And you're like, yeah, mate. Like, <laughs> you know. And Australia has X amount of wild cards to give, usually six for the Australian teams, and they don't usually choose them off... Uh, doubles ranking especially not somebody that's my age that's 30 years old and and playing doubles they tend to want to give the young players young prosperous singles players opportunity to have a big match exposure and and uh sort of a different way of giving them more fundings to getting good prize money playing playing doubles as well so um i completely understand that perspective and that uh method um It'd be nice if there was maybe one wild card based off the first two rankings out or something, but is what it is. I, 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 my expectation only came from uh, hope and um, and uh, dreams of wanting to play there. So uh, regardless, I was super keen to go to the event and just get around Dano and train a lot and watch all the best players in the world go about it. 